We can further simplify rational exponents by using a couple of important ideas. First, we have the power of a power, provided that both sides exist, a to power m to power n is the same as a to the power of the product m times n. It's also helpful to remember the rule for the product of fractions, and in particular, a over b is the same as a times 1 over b. And finally, commutativity is also useful for a and b real numbers. a times b is the same as b times a. So, for example, let's say I want to simplify 125 to the power 2 thirds. So since this is a fraction 2 thirds, it's useful to remember that we have a rule for the product of fractions. a over b can be rewritten as a times 1 over b. So this exponent 2 thirds can be rewritten as 2 times 1 third. Now a useful thing to remember here is that if you take the root first, you'll generally get a number that's easier to work with. So I don't really want to find 125 squared. I would much rather take the one-third power, the cube root. Fortunately, we're allowed to do that. For a and b real numbers, a times b is the same as b times a. So this power, 2 times one-third, can be rewritten as one-third times 2. Now I can use the power of a power rule. I have a product of exponents 1 third times 2 and I can split that up. 125 to power 1 third, the whole mess raised to power 2. Remember that fractal exponent 1 third is the same as a cube root of 125 so we'll rewrite it, and we can actually take the cube root of 125. We're still squaring the result, so we get 5 squared, which is 25. 